Well, tonight, EKU leaders are still trying to figure out who's responsible for a threatening message found on campus. The university canceled classes for the rest of the week and moved tonight's EKU football game to Georgetown College. As Garrett Weimer shows us, there was extra security on hand for the game. That story is first on Fox. The schedule may show it as just another game. To the fans, it was anything but. Trying to make it a home game away from home is basically what it is. The home team in a stadium 40 miles from their own, EKU fans still packed the place to cheer for their colonels. I go to about every game and I'm not going to miss one for any reason. <laughs> Some even came hours early to tailgate before the game. It's just good to get everybody's mind off something, have something that's positive instead of negative. And these young men represent the university, the team represents uh, EKU, and we're pulling for them just like we're pulling for our campus. EKU, UK, and Georgetown police, as well as the Scott County and Harrison County Sheriff's offices, were among several agencies providing extra security at the stadium. Officers checked bags, and a K 9 unit even led a dog around to check cars. But the scene didn't stop Colonel fans from coming. There's threats and things all the time, and I'm not going to let somebody that does that kind of mess, you know, scare me out of having my fun. I'm still going to live my life. Once the game started, it didn't take long to get those transplanted EKU fans out of their seats. A long touchdown pass, a great way to greet the home crowd, even miles away from Richmond. In Georgetown, Garrett Weimer, Fox 56, 10 o'clock news. Police have also boosted security on EKU's campus. They say they'll continue extra patrols there while the students are gone for fall break.